Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel. This will be a six card spread for the signs of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, if you're not familiar with the way I do things, Leo, I do provide an extended version where I do lay out 10 more cards, five for love and five for career. You will find the link to the extended version below in the show more section. Let's jump straight into it and see uh, what cards pop up for the sign of Leo for this month of January, what's coming up for Leo. Oh, this is a waiting game for you this month, that's for sure. Okay, let's start off with the Seven of Swords, uh, Leo, uh, sorry, the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands uh, does point to resistant energy. Seven of Wands is also an energy of feeling like you need to be held accountable for something or something coming to a head, coming to a culmination point. I feel like something that's been a long time coming um, is going to come up in the upcoming month of January. Seven of Wands, it is a card of feeling resistance or resistance to change, okay? Um, it's also stubbornness or being set in your ways in some regard. Uh, if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person might be showing resistant behavior, even defensiveness, but there could be something that you really want to protect. Could be a best interest, could be your partner, could be a child, could be a family member, could be your heart. But you're definitely going to stand by that um, and, and um, voice any concerns or uh, definitely hit back hard if anyone's really going to get in between you and your object of desire or your intention here, Leo. So that is coming up with the Seven of Wands. It can point to argumentative behavior as well. Lots of different opinions or people that might be coming into the picture here. And it's all about deflecting. It could even be something like damage control. And I say that because you also have the Seven of Swords. Now, this is a card of deception, uh, beating around the bush, avoiding a certain topic, taking something that isn't yours, perhaps even an air sign, which represents the swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is taking something that doesn't belong to them. It can be deceptive behavior or it can be someone not being um, very truthful, open or honest about their true intentions. Or you might find that you find um, yourself telling little white lies to a friend, to a partner. There's something else uh, that you might want to cover up or something that you might want to, I guess, keep away from someone. Whether or not you think you're hurting them in the long run here, Leo, that could be the case with the Seven of Swords. It could be theft in a company. Uh, it can be someone taking something from you. It can even be gossip or slander. Uh, the Seven of Swords is sitting above the Empress. So because these cards contradict each other, the Empress is powerful. She's prestigious. She's idolized, respected. It could even be jealousy or whispers here. So uh, jealous partners, jealous friends. Um, this could come to the surface here in forms of communication, attitude or behavior. So that's something that you might need to keep an eye out on in this month. Uh, but it can be also obstacles, okay, because suddenly the Seven of Swords is another obstacle that presents itself. And I feel like there's major delays. I say delays because the hangman can symbolize being introverted, being held in suspense. There's something that you have to be waiting for or delayed. Um, the, the Temperance card could also be something about virtuousness, patience, understanding, and letting things happen in time. So uh, there could be uh, impatience in a situation here or further obstacles or delays in matters of love, in career, in, in uh, setbacks, in legalities. It can apply to anything that you're currently going through, Leo. You might notice that those delays are heightened, okay, or these obstacles are coming into your path here and potentially um, delaying things for you. Now, the hangman committed a crime uh, obviously that was frowned upon, hence his consequence. So I feel like a consequence of actions, whether these are your actions or someone around you, is going to come to the forefront. Also because the Seven of Swords is here. Now the Seven of Swords and the Hangman, they're equally guilty. Um, so you're, it's almost like it takes two to tango or you're equally... Uh, to blame in a situation or if the blame is being shifted on you or you're shifting it on another person i feel like there's both parties or both people are involved you know this could even be in a work situation um, the way you handled yourself the way this person handled themselves but i feel as though they're both as guilty or it's 
whatever this is comes to the surface and then there's repercussions being reprimanded being spoken to having consequences you might have to suffer those consequences in january or someone near and dear to you is going to have a, have to suffer your wrath uh, for example that could also be the case but the hangman what i love about him is the positivity he's almost got this martyr's halo around him so this is a divine source this is light this is enlightenment inspiration um or a moment of epiphany so it could even be that things get too far or you know you might be questioning yourself as to how far are you willing to go to get what it is that you want to get that person to get that asset to get that job to get that prestigiousness to achieve what it is you're aiming to achieve leo it's it's almost like how far are you willing to go so there's some sort of divine message that might come to you or it could even come within from within uh, internally in terms of intuition so that could be coming up okay you do have the temperance card which is an angel angels are messages they're intermediaries interpret them as you wish whether they're spirit guides people that are deceased that are still around you guardian angels the universe at large god speaking to you um this is a message of protection and it's also a message to find balance but i definitely feel a lot is going to be dawning on you the sun whether rising or setting i feel like it points to illuminating something very deeply spiritual within you and i feel like that it's you might um, have some sort of moral battle here okay it's a lot to do with morality life lessons crime punishment deeds no good deed goes unpunished these sorts of concepts come up and because the temperance card really epitomizes spirituality with the angel and the wings and heavenly blessing and finding balance you know the two cups here finding equilibrium it comes back to how far are you willing to go how far are they willing to go um, before you cross that boundary um, or find yourself in, in conjunction with your moral beliefs you know it's um, in between a rock and a hard place here Leo and it's your survival way okay what you're going to do spiritually emotionally mentally to move forward in the situation here um, it can point to faith and, and 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 things like that as well so some of you might have a emphasis on that um, finding equilibrium in many ways uh, even beyond spiritually financially emotionally mentally um, maybe this is even um, pointing to a twin flame union or someone under the sign of a Sagittarius here but Sagittarius are straight shooters and whether or not you're dealing with the Sagittarius directly in terms of love or career or friendship or business, the Temperance card is signifying truth and honesty. So it's going to come to a point in Jan where you're going to have to face your truth, know your truth, own it, own the decisions you've made, uh, the steps leading up to this point, and go through the reaction or the consequences that, that are to be from, from the deeds that have been done, so to speak. And I'm not saying you're guilty of something here, but that could be I guess, something that resonates with some of you Leos watching. But it is truthfulness, it is honesty, and it is openness. You might find that a lot of people are very heavily opinionated around you that are being very open with their um, remarks or judgments or decisions or opinions. And this is where you might have to fend them off. It could be that. It could also be a Sagittarius that's wanting to find inner peace, inner balance, and maybe even pushing you away to an extent if you are dealing with someone under this sign. Uh, but you also have the Empress card, which is a card of beauty. She does rule fertility. Um, it's a Mother Earth energy, so growth and transition, evolution, self-growth, uh, self, self growth, absolutely. Uh, transformation, whether this is internal or external. Uh, pregnancy, new additions to the family or changes around the family home. Deceptions even within the family, obstacles in a family setting. But I think for the most part, she um, she really encompasses a lot here. You know, she's got the luxury earthly items, the gorgeous robe, um, the throne, the comfort. She's got the spirituality um, component. She's got the crown of the zodiac on her head. Uh, and she, because she encompasses so much, I feel like she's got a richness to her. So I feel like there's a very, or there's a certain, very um, enriching experience that could come to pass in January. And it's going to teach you a lot, whether it's something brief and fleeting or something arduous and long standing. you're going to take a lot from it, Leo. 
uh, and it could be involving someone else as well. The Empress to me, she's a very Venus-like symbol. Um, Venus rules Taurus and Libra. I see her as a Taurian if I'm honest, but please interpret her as you see fit. Uh, but I really feel like she epitomizes romance and sexuality um, and, and, and a bondship. So I feel like there's a lot of growth that's going to come to pass, whether this is internal, whether this is in relationships as well. Uh, but for some of you, if there's been delays in pregnancies or starting a family or wanting to settle down, that uh, milestone could definitely be um, addressed and come to pass sometime in the month of January for some of you. So that's absolutely possible here. And then you have the Hermit here, which is Virgo energy. Now, the Virgo seeks perfection. Uh, Virgos are deeply analytical. They're very self-aware. Uh, they like to compartmentalize things and understand things. Sometimes they need to reflect and be on their own to help them achieve that. So for a lot of you, there's a sense of independence or autonomy, breaking away from friendship groups, detaching from relationships, or even pulling back. Now, this might be you pulling back a Virgo. You might notice someone you're connected to, maybe someone under the sign of a Virgo pulling away from you. Um, but it's also wising up about a situation. Okay, uh, the Hermit is very wise. He's experienced a lot. Often his age symbolizes that experience, that wisdom, um, because he's lived many years, um, endured many things, and he has a certain wisdom about him. But he's still seeking the light. And to seek light is to seek understanding in a situation, is to get down to the bottom of something um, you've wanted for so long, is to understand it, wrap your head around it, register it, respond to it in a timely and rational manner here, Leo. So maybe this is something that you're going to be doing in January. And this is the symbolism here. Um, but a lot of things you might be analyzing here, finances, relationships, um, because the hermit is independent, a lot of you are going to do freelance work, branch out on your own here. Maybe there's deception in the workplace and you've, you've, you're fed up with it. Um, maybe you're perfecting a project here. Maybe you're trying to perfect yourself internally, um, mentally, physically. This, uh, the need for perfection. Maybe you owe it to yourself. Maybe you just want to show this other person, maybe an ex, what they've been missing out on. Maybe you want to prove the people that didn't believe that you could find fame or success or praise. Maybe it's to prove all them wrong, okay? Maybe it's much more than just surface level, okay? Uh, quite an interesting read, Leo, but I will leave it at that and continue with your extended, the link to which will be available below. Thanks again for tuning in. I do hope you have an absolutely fabulous January. Um, don't forget to subscribe or like, and we shall be connecting very, very soon. So thanks again, Leo, and bye for now.